Don't forget your gloves. I'm ready now. Let's do this. Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to set up a very powerful computer good for gaming, which is also budget friendly. For CPU, we chose AMD Ryzen 9 5900X and I purchased it from Amazon. Um, I paid around $470 for this one. Here's a CPU fan. Um, I know it is a little bit overpriced here in Canada. I paid around uh, $32 on Amazon. Uh, this shouldn't be that expensive. This should be around like $15. I don't know why they're, what they're charging us for. Other fans on Amazon, they're not really good at like uh, cooling down this monster right here. Ryzen 9, it gets really hot, let's say. So as for the GPU, here's a funny story about what happened. One day I was sitting at the office and loaded with work. One of the colleagues called me and said, hey, here's the AMD GPU that you always wanted to buy, RX 6750, and it's uh, down from $600 to $400. That was a really good discount, $200 off the GPU overnight. And I didn't even hesitate. So I purchased this RX 6750 for $400 Canadian. And uh, I think I'm gonna be very satisfied with it. Uh, this guy is capable of running games in 2K. Also in 4K, but with limited uh, frames per second. As for the case, I got the cheapest option at around $70. Uh, I know it's a little bit overpriced uh, for a metal box, but yeah, you gotta pay for these items as well, right? So there's no other choice. The two items down here, I decided to purchase an M2 or NVMe SSD. This is two terabytes. Uh, it is from Silicon Power. Uh, it was much cheaper than the other items on the uh, on the market. Now down to the RAM. I got a uh, two sticks of RAM. Uh, together they make uh, 32 gigabytes DDR4. Uh, of course it is DDR4 because my CPU is also AM4, the older version. I know AMD has released AM5, but it's much more expensive right now. I had to pay twice the price for setting all these things up because you have to change your motherboard, you have to change your CPU, you have to change your RAM. Uh, everything would be changed. Uh, so that would be almost twice the price that you would regularly pay for, the, for AM4. Uh, socket so DDR4 is a really good one uh, this came in a bundle uh, of two sticks of uh, 16 gigabyte RAM uh, the speed is 36 megahertz um, if you don't have a good motherboard if you don't want to pay a lot of money for a good motherboard I would recommend you to go with lower speeds uh, go with like 3200 2800 3000 megahertz because your motherboard is not able to unlock the speed, the maximum speed of the RAM. So this was for the RAM. Down to the motherboard. This guy, the manufacturer says it goes up to the speeds of over 4,000 megahertz per second for the RAM. So that's why I purchased this. This is an MSI B550 socket. Uh, there is another version of this guy that is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's X570, it's a little bit more advanced, uh, but this guy also does the job. And I like the look of this guy more than the other one. Uh, power supply. I decided to go with 750 watts of power supply because I'm not doing anything crazy. I might be gaming, but it would be enough to power all of these 
components, I guess 750 would be enough. This GPU will not exceed 200 watts, I'm dead sure. GP, sorry, CPU will be around 100 watts, 105 according to the manufacturer, that's the maximum. And so together it will be 300, let's say 350, 450. I, did, I had cheaper choices which were like $50. Uh, some of these custom made power supplies, people had good reviews on them, but I was a little bit scared of those. Um, I can't trust these manufacturers because I'm afraid that it might damage my CPU or my uh, GPU. So if you have a crappy old computer, yes, go with those. If you don't, if you want to set up a really nice computer, go with a certified manufacturer like Asus. Also, you need a pair of gloves because when you're installing the CPU, you don't want to touch it by your hand because of the static uh, charge, you might damage the CPU. So it's always a good practice to use gloves when you're touching the CPU or electronic components. So with that being said, let's go ahead and install this. This is what I like about Asus. See how good it looks? Very nice. Very nice. One thing I would recommend you guys not to do is to use the same cable because it's kind of branched off, you see? Don't use the same cable for one GPU. Don't use the branch cable. Use two separate cables to power on your GPU. I've seen so many problems that the GPU crashes while running games and stuff. So that's stemming from this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Let's go ahead and install the motherboard now. See the spot? Oh. See this spot? See this? This should align with that.
two beautiful ramps. It is time for the NVMe. Last but not least, GPU. Just look at it, how beautiful this is. Everything is dying on me today. So this is it, this is the PC that we made. The bare hands, I'll send you the invoice. You'll see it somewhere on the screen. You'll see the invoice and yeah, let's go from there. This is a cheap, powerful computer. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna show it off to you in the next section. Enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on my channel. See you guys next time. Hi guys, welcome back. I am done with setting up the PC and I've been using it for the past two weeks and I've been surprised and amazed by the quality and by how fast and how strong this computer is for that cheap amount, like around uh, $1,500 Canadian, of course. Um, I should say uh, I couldn't find anything wrong with this computer except for one thing that I forgot to tell you. Ryzen 9 that we used on this PC, it consumes a lot of power and then it heats up really fast. So in order to avoid that, just avoid air cooling and instead purchase a water cooling system. That way you would avoid high temperatures because it's not good for the CPU to run at 90 degrees Celsius, which this guy is actually doing when you're running a workload, such as a game, let's say. Now, that we are pretty confident and satisfied, let's go turn it on and see how it looks like in real life. You see, this guy has a pretty cool fan. Put it down. Let me get ready on the screen. I'll be showing you the timer. There you go. So it actually took seven seconds to turn off. Let's see how much time it takes to turn on. Are you guys ready? I'm just gonna press it as soon as I press the power button. There we go. There you go. 
25 seconds. Pretty fast. My other laptop that I bought like five years ago, it takes like 10 minutes to boot up. Let me tell you. This guy took 25 seconds to boot up. Considering the fact that I have installed a ton of softwares on this guy, a ton. That affects the system, it slows it down, it affects the startup time, and the overall startup time. But still, 25 seconds is a very good record for a PC. In idle mode, the CPU is at around 46 Celsius, degrees Celsius and then 12 to 9 watts and the GPU, I'm overclocking it, um, it's at 41 degrees and 6 watts of power, like 20 watts in total and the frames for modern warfare is like 81. Four. I don't know. I think that's running in 4K. So for such a GPU, this is a pretty good record, right? Let us open a workload and see how it would look inside the game. As you can see, it looks pretty good. It's pretty fast. Yep. To the story. As you can see, everything looks pretty good. It's running smoothly. And then after this, we're gonna go into adrenaline and see what are the frames. It's running very smoothly. That was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribing to our channel, liking the videos, disliking them if you don't like, also putting in the comments. All right, guys, see you guys next time.